In space, do we have our own astronaut? By 2023, Philippine plans to launch a new Earth observation satellite. Imagine if the Philippines had its own astronaut in space in two years, how fantastic would that be? As part of its preparations for the next generation of satellites, the Philippines plans to have a new Earth observation satellite in orbit by 2023. In a Facebook post on Thursday, June 10, Department of Science and Technology, DOSD, Secretary Fortunato de la P announced this, noting that the dust, through its Advanced Science and Technology Institute, Dust Asti, has been spearheading various initiatives that have helped build a strong foundation for such an endeavor. We have gone a long way since the launch of the Diwata-1 microsatellite to the International Space Station, ISS, in 2016, de la P added, but there is still a lot of work to be done. He did say, though, that we are just getting started. Plans are on to have a larger Earth observation satellite that can record operational quality. Photos of roughly 100,000 square kilometers of land area daily, de la P noted after the Philippines microsatellites Diwata-1 and Diwata-2 maintained their gains. The commercial-grade satellite, dubbed the Multispectral Unit for Land Assessment or MULA, would weigh 130 kilograms and will be the country's largest spacecraft to date, according to de la P. The Advanced Satellite and Know-How Transfer for the Philippines, ASP, project, according to de la P, is now developing the newest satellite project, which is financed by the dust. This endeavor is being carried out as part of the science agency's primary agenda within the emerging technology sector of offering space technology applications to public services, according to de la P. The University of the Philippines Diliman is in charge of the initiative, according to de la P, up Diliman. SSTL is a prominent provider of small satellite development and know-how transfer, he stated. De La P added, the next satellite, MULA, will contain a true color camera capable of taking 5 meters quality photos with a huge sweep width of 120 kilometers. He said, it will contain nine spectral bands that may be utilized for various environmental applications such as disaster management, land use and land cover change mapping, agricultural monitoring, and forestry management. True color was obtained from SSTL's Disaster Monitoring Constellation, DMC, satellite, according to de la P. According to de la P, putting it into MULA's 130kg mass category will be a new bar for Earth observation capabilities at this mass and pricing range, citing SSTL Managing Director Phil Brownnet in a news statement. The new satellite will also have two other payloads, the Automatic Identification System, AIS, an automatic dependent surveillance broadcast, ads B, which may be used to identify and monitor ships and planes, according to de la P. The preliminary mission objectives of the satellite were determined based on a needs assessment conducted in the first quarter of 2020 by the ASP project of the Space Technology Applications Mastery, Innovation, and Advancement, Stamina 4 Space, with various stakeholders in the Philippines, de la P said. Mula's ability to capture higher resolution images, according to Phil S.A. Deputy Director General and ASP Project Leader Dr. Gay Jane Perez, will enable us to better monitor terrestrial ecosystems, as well as our land and marine resources to ensure both agricultural productivity and environmental integrity. We will also be able to analyze environmental conditions in order to be more proactive in catastrophe management and mitigation, Perez continued. Our own astronaut. Engineer John Lower Labrador, Mula Project Manager, described the proposed multispectral imager calibrated for land assessment as having our own astronaut in orbit. We may conceive of this spacecraft as a Filipino astronaut entrusted with photographing our natural resources while simultaneously monitoring aviation and ship traffic in our country, Labrador explained. We want to catch substantially more land area with this satellite than we have with previous ones, thus enhancing the information obtained from the photographs produced, Labrador added. Providing motivation for the next generation of Filipino scientists. Meanwhile, de la P couldn't help but be pleased with a number of recent advances in space exploration. Advancing space research and development in the Philippines has always been a key aim of the DUST, therefore the establishment of the Phil SA during my tenure as DUST secretary is something I will always be proud of, de la P stated. De La P went on to say that, in addition to infrastructure development and microsatellite development, there is a stronger and more pressing need to teach young Filipino engineers.